such a pleasure to be here today. Um, as you can tell, I'm Hannah Hager. I'm this co-founder and CMO at Trisum, and I'm an American girl living in New York. That means I'm a very lucky lady. I have access to literally anything and everything I could ever want or need. And this is picture proof of that. This is just a few of the items that are in my cabinet at home in my apartment. And Americans love CPGs, consumer packaged goods shown here. But it can also be beauty products or deodorants, toothpaste. Anything that is packaged, we love it. In fact, American millennials will spend $65 billion on CPGs over the next 10 years. But this picture is not the full story. This is. We will buy the same products over and over and over and over again. That means we only have a 15% adoption rate of all new products. So what does that mean? 85% of all CPG products fail within the first two years. 85% of all packaged goods that we love so much fail within the first two years. Why is that? Well, it could be that they can't afford the data and insights to market to people like me who want to buy these packaged goods. Or it could be that they can't afford the shelf space at traditional retailers. It could be a lot of things, and that's what we're doing at TriSum. Together with the brands, we are working to answer the question, why did you or did you not buy this product from us? This is how we do it. We give away free samples of the CPGs to our users. In exchange for that, they give us their data and survey feedback. We combine this with additional aggregated data, and we sell that information back to the brands in a data report. We are collecting data at every stage of the process pre, during, and post campaign. Pre-campaign, these brands come to us to do their R&D testing. They want to find out if their offering is correct. We are decreasing the time to discovery between the, the product and the user, while at the same time increasing the awareness and visibility that these brands have with the user. All of this helps them to determine whether they have the correct product market fit. During the campaign, they can do a lot of things. They can test themselves against themselves, against their competitors. They can test for variations. Did you like the way that this product tasted? Did you like the texture, the way that it felt? Is this something that you would give to your friends, or would you throw it in the trash can? This kind of sentiment analysis helps us to also track their conversions. If they liked what they've tried on TriSum, they can buy a full-size product at a deep discount. What this serves to do is to help the brands to determine whether these people would buy this good in the actual stores. If you're all together at the end of the campaign, they are working to optimize their offering. So we have all of this feedback post-consumer. We can find out whether, how they need to optimize, through which distribution channels, through which marketing channels. This helps them to define the correct go-to-market strategies, and it also works to boost their retention rates. This also helps to boost their sales conversions. We know that this works. We know that it works because we did an MVP campaign on behalf of 13 of our brands. It took $1.50 to acquire these users, but the average revenue per user was three and a half times that amount at $5 per user. That represents a 70% gross margin for us. We charge $5,000 for this. Traditional marketing firms, 90% higher rates. I'm proud to announce today that we have eight paid campaigns that we've secured just this month. We're faster, we're more affordable, the brands are wanting to work with us. There's something that I haven't mentioned until now, but it's important to note. We're starting with the organic market. The reason for this is not only because they are growing at 8.4% as opposed to 06 in the overall CPG uh, market, but because the all-natural and organic lifestyle is important to us at TriSum. We are what we eat. We are what we consume. There are 10,000 brands in the U.S. with 100,000 products that could benefit from using TriSum services. That's a $22 billion industry. $168 billion in health and wellness sales in the, the U.S. last year alone, 2017. $700 billion is all CPGs. 
in the US. We're at the intersection of a market research company and a box services delivery company. But we're only a box services delivery company and that's how we get the goods to the people. What we really are is a market research company on behalf of the brands that helps them conduct R&D testing, split testing, variable testing, conversion tracking. No other market research firm is doing that on the market today. We give away the goods for free. Everyone loves free things. We're also subsidizing the shipping. This works for us. We acquired 5,000 users in just one and a half hours using this method, and we plan to scale it in the future. I have more than 10 years experience in marketing, business development, and communications, including at my previous YC startup, where I helped it grow 300% year on year. I'm joined by our CTO and co-founder, Sam Roberts, who is the backbone of this organization. He helps us running our logistics and operations. But none of this would be possible without our CEO and founder, Runa Knudsen. He's the heart and soul of this organization. It's visionary and the reason why we're here today. Thanks also to our mentors and advisors who are in the room or the ones who are watching online. We really appreciate all of your data, analysis background, food tech, and market research for CPGs. Couldn't do it without you. This is where we are today. We're gonna to double the amount of brands that we're working with using the free acquisition methods over the next three months, quadrupling the number of campaigns that we're running. In the meantime, we're gonna be releasing a mobile app, but the most exciting part for us is that we're gonna be releasing the live campaign dashboard. The brands will remove us from the equation. They'll come to us, they'll set their campaigns running, then they will release them. They'll be able to collect the insights as quickly as possible, take action on those insights, and, and reduce, the, or reduce those failure rates. In order to do that, we're asking for money, $750,000 to onboard the brands as quickly as possible to get the goods and to be able to ship them to the people. Try some is redefining what market research means for our products. We're doing it at a faster and more affordable rate. This will turn the 85% failure rate into hopefully an 85% success rate for these brands. The future is bright for us. It's so bright that we know eventually everyone will want a piece of us. We're hoping that you'll join us today. We're hoping that once you try some, you'll want to have it all with us. Grazie. Thanks, Anna. So, great team. Um, <laughs> So, about your product, I mean, you, you know, you claim you have this value proposition. You're making accessible products, information products, that today the big payers will charge up to 50K, right, per campaign, and you're charging that almost 10 times less. So, what is the kind of, you know, product actually that you're serving? Can it really help the producers with the insights you provide? So the, the way that we differ from traditional market research firms is that we're collecting data at every touch point, including when the, the person first experiences the product. There is no richer data than that, and it also allows us to conduct sales conversion tracking, which no market research firm can do. This is a real world environment with purchasing situations involved. So this is a 360 degree view of the user and the purchasing environment that they can't gain elsewhere, and it's all enabled because of our data and software. And yeah, can you give an example? I mean, well, you know, an example of one of uh, your customers. Uh, how did they use uh, your data, and how did it impact its choices in terms of you know operating on the product on the market? Sure. One of the people that we're working with, they want to release some soaps onto the market, some hand soaps. And they're already distributing, but they want to cut out the middleman, the retailer. So they're coming to us to see, will these people buy directly from us? There's another example. We're working with a coconut oil company that has, uh, you know, coconut oil that you can eat or you put it on your skin. They want to release a chapstick, a lip balm, and a peppermint version. So they're using us, trying our through our users, trying out whether people would buy this, whether they like it, whether it's worth producing. Those Thanks. are just two examples. Great, excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you.